so today in this video we are going to solve a word problem and the question is the perimeter of a square is 28 centimeter find its length and its area so here is a square whose perimeter is 28 centimeter and we have to find out its length and also its area so when there is any square object or any square shape then we have to know is a square means all sides are equal so for that here we have given given is perimeter of a square so perimeter of a square so we denote perimeter by p is equal to 28 centimeter so perimeter always means that the sum of all sides so a square contain four sides and its all sides are equal so we denote one side by l then its perimeter becomes 4l where L is the length of each side so formula to calculate perimeter of a square is equal to 4L this is the basic formula so here P is the perimeter of a square L is the length of each side so we can write 4L is equal to 28 centimeter so 4 here is in multiple sign while changing side multiple sign becomes here it is divided 28 by 4 centimeter so 28 divided by 4 it calls 7 so l is equal to 7 centimeter so the length of its side is 7 centimeter so we got one answer and in second we have to find out its area so it is a square shaped object so area of a square we denote it by a so a is equal to area means length into breadth so here length is equal of all side so area of a square becomes l a square so length means length of each side so l here is 7 centimeter whole square so it is equal to 7 centimeter times 7 centimeter it is equal to 49 centimeter square so the area of this square is 49 centimeter square and its length is 7 centimeter so in this way we can solve a problem related to a square so just we have to remember is in a square all sides are equal like as perimeter of a square is equal to 4L where L is the length of each side like as area of a square is equal to L square where L is the length of its side. So in this way we can solve a problem so this much for today and if you have any problem related to math and science then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question so thank you thanks for watching